What is good, you beautiful people? Welcome back to the second half of How to Paint Your Engine Bay. In the previous episode, I talked about the prep work, the tools you'll need, and for today, let's get it painted. Let's go. All right, so prior to filming today's episode, I actually washed the engine bay again because I left the car outside for like a week, and currently I only have time to work on the car during the weekend and, you know, editing a video and all that. So, uh, if you wash your engine bay right before you're about to mask it, uh, I would say get a clean microfiber towel, just wipe down all of the corners. Um, if you have access to a heat gun, use that as well. And that's gonna blow all of the water out and get rid of all of the moisture in the corners. So your paint is gonna stick, especially changing the color. But since I'm not, I can pretty much do a really rough job and it's still gonna turn out somewhat decent, I hope. <laughs> but yeah, use a microfiber towel, wipe down the corners and the edges and then Start masking. I think I underestimated how long it's gonna take me to mask it because how many components I still have, uh, you know, that are attached to the engine bay. Uh, I'm just trying to do as fast as I can, but you know, the, the OCD side of me kind of want everything to be perfect. But I know, as a fact, that this cannot be perfect because if you take a look at down there, um, it's not perfectly sealed, which is fine uh, in my case. Uh, even though there might be some overspray going through the gaps, it's not going to affect anything. Um, but if you are a uh, perfectionist, take like half of a day at least to uh, mask it up. Uh, I'm just going to do it as fast as I can and um, just get a decent result because things like this area is not going to matter to me because you can't see it, it's not going to rust and uh, it's still white in a way. So yeah, that's not something that I worry about. Um, but yeah, let me get back to it. I'm not gonna be like one of those YouTubers that make everything look easy because it is not. Like I said, the last time I painted something like this, everything was out. Like the, the car was a bare chassis. And now I have to mask up all of the components, the, the, the throttle body, the lines, the subframe and shit like that. It was too much work. So if you're on the same boat as me, spare yourself some extra time. Um, it's gonna take longer than you expected. Anyways, all I have left are some studs, some um, ground connections, and we're ready to paint. You've done sucking my blood. Ugh.
All right, so there are two ways to wipe down the surface. One is spraying the surface and then wipe it down. But the second way is actually better, which is spraying your microfiber towel and then use that towel to wipe down the surface. Because if you spray down the surface and you didn't wipe it down fast enough, uh, it's gonna get into the gaps or the edges. So, yeah. All right, let's get ready to paint. And uh, by the way, I'm wearing pants, but that's not because I'm about to paint. Uh, I've been feeding the 40 mosquitoes in my garage for the past five, six hours, and it was not fun. So yeah, pants it is. Also, another tip, if you are painting your car in a cold weather, you can dip the can in hot water for about a minute or two. That way the air inside is gonna expand and it's gonna spray a lot better. So the first coat is gonna be very light, and then once it's dried, you can Oh my god, I can see at least like 10 mosquitoes flying around. Jesus Christ. Anyways, where were we? Oh, uh, once the first coat is dried, then you can start to use thicker coat on top of the first base coat. Oh my god. Uh... All right, now the first coat is done. Let's wait for 15 minutes and then let's go for the second coat. Yo, I forgot to have this. So this is actually a trigger for the uh, spray paint can. And for the rest of the day, I mean night, I'm gonna use this to finish up the job. Right now is uh, the second coat. I'm gonna apply the third and the fourth, and I'll show you guys the finishing product, maybe tomorrow, because uh, the battery's dying and I uh, wanna finish it up tonight. Ah, all right, after God knows how many hours, the paint job is done. It's not completely dried out yet, so we'll see how it is tomorrow. I'm pretty satisfied with the result. Obviously, it's not perfect, as you can see, but it is what it is. The channel's name is Recall Unprofessional, right? But when you're doing it yourself, uh, just make sure to wait till the paint is somewhat dried, at least uh, when it's touchable with your hand. And then you remove the masking tapes and the paper and all of that because if the paint is still wet, you might pull part of the paint along with the tape. So just be patient, wait for a little bit before you remove the masking tape. So after 12 hours of working, maybe more than that, um, this is completely done. Uh, I know I said it's gonna be decent and I wouldn't be too mad at it. It's way better than I expected. You know, as you can see, it's, uh, it's not too bad at all. I'm, I'm really happy with it. So yeah, uh, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.